Good morning, good afternoon everybody, welcome back to my channel. I actually started vlogging yesterday and then I ended up just like stopping. You really didn't miss much, literally it was quite boring, all we did was make egg salad. Good morning everybody, welcome to a random Tuesday. Just recorded the lovely podcast, we did Christmas gift ideas so go check that out. I'll also be doing a gift guide idea on this channel as well. Starting out the day we got some sourdough going in the toaster and Zane boiled up some eggs yesterday yesterday a bunch of them because we have so many if you guys watch the grocery haul and I was like what should I make for breakfast you want just boiled eggs on toast he's like why don't you do egg salad okay never made it before but here we are so I just chopped up six eggs what's next babe one teaspoon Yum, it looks good, babe. Mmm. Oh, good. Mmm. I love egg salad. Yum, yum. I haven't had it in years, though. And on that note, aren't you glad that I didn't finish that vlog? <laughs> Bailey, you just decided to go to the bathroom right now? <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Even when she's pooping, she's cute. I ended up just getting some work done. We made dinner. I went to the gym. I came home and I watched The Bachelorette and then I worked some more. So you didn't miss much. But today is the day before Thanksgiving. So naturally we have some errands to run. So I'm taking you guys along. Tomorrow's going to be really fun. I love any day that I get to spend with my family. It's my favorite days. Every year Zane and I make mac and cheese. So I'm going to get some ingredients for that. Last year I made asparagus. So I'm going to do that again. And I want to pick up an apple pie and some vanilla ice cream. And we have a few other errands to run and it is getting very, very cold. So I bundled up. I'm wearing literally all black. I just have a black hoodie on, my Levi's jacket, and these leggings. I just got them, you guys, from Amazon. Every time I go outside, I've just been more and more miserable. This is literally like, look at them. They're like literally up to my boobs. I know it looks ridiculous, <laughs> but you guys, they are fleece lined. Let me show you this way. It's definitely hard to tell in this lighting, but there is like a fleece lining on the inside of these leggings. And I am just gonna be a much happier person when I walk outside the door these next couple of months when I wear fleece lined leggings. So I'm very happy about these. They're very stretchy and comfortable. They go up super high. This is my first time wearing them, but so far so good. Cause you know what? I love my leggings, but sometimes they can be freezing ice cold cause it's just little thin leggings. So to have that extra layer is so nice. And then I just threw on my platform Converse. These socks are from Amazon. Let's get started because it's going to get dark out. This morning I went to cycling. I haven't been to the gym cycling in a really long time because I have my at-home bike. And I've just been obsessed with Zumba. I didn't, anyways, it's just been a while since I've been to my cycling class. So it was really nice to see my teacher this morning. I got my day kick-started. So good. I'm so glad that I went. Sorry for the mess behind me, by the way. Let me turn you guys around, actually. I'm just so glad that I went. It really just, like, started my day off. So good. I feel so good. Cycling is always such a good workout. It's an hour long class, so you really sweat. And then I took a nice shower. I got ready for the day. Fresh hair for Thanksgiving. I got to post my Instagram. I cleaned the cat litter and my parents and I bought tickets to go see Elf the Musical. They're doing one on Long Island. So I'm really excited about that. We're going December 1st, so that'll be fun. Not that I can film it for you guys, because that's like definitely illegal. You can't film Broadway, but I'm just excited about it, because Elf is my favorite movie. Mine is Christmas, mine is anything. It's just my favorite movie. We're gonna fill up the sippy and we're gonna head out of here. We've got things to do when we get home But we need to do the things outside of the home before it gets dark. Zane is at tennis So it's just me and you today. Look at this going to cycling helps my water progression because I drink so much water while I'm cycling I sip like basically the whole time So I end up going through a whole water jug by the time it's 10 15 I am gonna grab myself a bar to go Let's try this one, birthday cake. I never tried this flavor. Yum. I did my makeup out here, so there's a mess. I have to do the dishes. I've got fun unboxing for you guys. Unboxings, I should say. And we're out of here. Keys, that'd be helpful. Definitely need those. All right, everyone, here we are off on our journey. I have decided to come to Lidl first because I figured the later it gets in the day, the more of a madhouse it's gonna be the day before Thanksgiving. And it already is a madhouse here. I'm literally in the back of the parking lot. So I'm gonna run in and get what I gotta get and go because I'm actually really glad that I did this. I was gonna do this last, like on the way home from all the other stuff, but I'm like, let me get this done now because there's gonna be slim pickings later and it's gonna get more and more packed like after five o'clock, after everyone gets off of work, it's gonna be ridiculous.
done. How efficient are we? The only thing is they didn't have white cheddar cheese and that was what the recipe called for. So I'm just gonna do whatever, however much amount, hello? However much the white cheddar is, I'm just gonna substitute that with just regular mild cheddar. Should be fine. I was gonna replace one of the cheeses with Gruyere too, but they didn't have any there and I'm not going to another store, so. Cheddar and Kobe Jack it is. Okay, next up we're at the post office. I'm gonna go to my P.O. box and check that. As always, yet another Amazon return. UPS store, here we are. Thank you, you too. Return done, and I don't know you guys. It's calling my name. Let's go look. Look at this blanket, it's $12.99 and it has polar bears on it. Do I need it? Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, $12? See, I came in here for a reason, I need command hooks. Will these work? No, that's not good for the garland, it's not big enough. I think these are the ones we have on there. A few of them are falling. Yeah, these are the ones that we have. I just like when they're clear because you can't really see them on the wall, you know? Okay, I'll just get these for now. Good enough. Cookies, always a necessity. Oh, and I got Zane for his stocking. Gotta start doing stocking stuffers. I just love the store because it's so random. <laughs> There's just like everything here. You never know what you're gonna find here. They have food, decor, everything. I'm gonna finally buy myself a potato masher because for the rare occasions I make them, it would be nice. I really do like mashed sweet potatoes too, so I wanna make those more. Look at all these random kitchen things. I just love it. What is this? A little mini board? It's two dollars. That is so cute. I think, I, you know what, I want this. <laughs> for like cutting little things, it's cute. Oh my God, I love it. Look at all the Christmas stuff. So much fun stuff. Oh, look at all the Christmas notepads. That's so cute. I need to go home. I have ice cream in the car. I just remembered. Oops. Okay, I bought stuff that I didn't need. Anyways, last stop. I was gonna go to White Post Farms and get an apple pie earlier, but then I looked it up and they were closed today, probably for Thanksgiving. Um, so I was like, okay, let me go to a little local bakery and we'll see if they have one. They're, I'm on Long Island, so there's tons and tons of Italian bakeries around here, so I'll probably find one somewhere, but let's just hope that this first one I just pulled up at has an apple pie. Otherwise, might have to go to the grocery store and make one. Score! Apple pie and cannolis. I got an eight inch apple pie because I know that everyone's gonna make dessert and have a ton of dessert and we're always full from Thanksgiving anyway. So I just got an eight inch apple pie and then a pound of cannolis. Little mini cannolis are delicious. This place is called a and G. I I don't know if you guys are local. I feel like, I don't know, when I mention a spot, it's like, does it really matter? But I guess if some of you guys live here, this bakery is on Deer Park Avenue and their little mini cannolis are chef's kiss to die for. And they're really sweet in there, super nice, so. Score! We are on our way home. My ice cream might be a puddle. There's a freaking cricket. Oh no. Bella! Get it! Oh my god. Bella, why didn't you kill that? Look, come here. Look at this. Get it! Ah! You're gonna step on it! Watch out! Watch out! Look! Did, it, did you kill it? Oh my god. Why are they still here? It's cold. Why, are, why aren't they all supposed to go hibernate or something? Bella, look. 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 I'm freaking out. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Ah! <laughs> oh, so it's a cricket. Really? Duh! It's on the carpet. Bella. Get it. I think it's half dead. Get it. Did you half kill it? Bella, what the? F I'm not moving my sneaker. It's staying there. My sneaker is staying there, and that's that. Daddy is coming home right now, and he's gonna take care of that. That's what's gonna happen. Oh my lord. Okay, back at home. First of all, two of our lights are now out. We got this pack from Amazon. Wait, no, this one and that one over there. We got this pack from Amazon, and that one had one out. It's still on, the one that we replaced. And now two more went out. I'm like, seriously? So now my light. My lighting is just trash. Let me just put you guys on the freaking tripod like I should. Okay, we have so much to show, so much to talk about, so much to do. So get prepared. Get a snack or something. It is not 10 p.m. by the way. It is literally, well, I got home at 5.30. It's now 5.55. <laughs> but it's literally before 6 o'clock. It is pitch black. Okay, let me first show you Weedle because that was the first place I went to. Our ice cream is softened, but not melted. 
So this is going in the freezer, some vanilla ice cream for our apple pie. I got these tortellini, not for Thanksgiving, simply because I just like them and they're easy. I got three packs of asparagus. There was another brand that was cheaper, but they were thicker. Like, are you guys with me? Thin asparagus is where it's at. They were like, came with like five pieces of asparagus in a pack. I was like, I'd rather have the thin asparagus. It tastes better in my opinion. It roasts better, it's quicker. Um, but we got some cream cheese for the mac and cheese, how to get, you know, the solid Philadelphia, no new Chattel. Some half and half and some heavy cream. We didn't need this much heavy cream, but this was the smallest thing that they had, so it's fine. And then a ton of cheese. You guys know I love shredding fresh cheese now. It is my thing, especially since I got the KitchenAid. It's just game changing and you can't make mac and cheese with bagged cheese. You just can't. It doesn't melt right. It's not good. So we got mild cheddar. I got um, a smaller thing of that as well to replace the white cheddar. And then we got a sharp cheddar, a Kobe Jack, and, and a mozzarella. A mozzarella. And that's what I got from Lidl. So let's put that away real quick. Everything's still cold and frozen, so we're good. It's cold enough outside. Cheese, so much cheese. This is, I think all of this is gonna be used. Maybe like one or two ounces isn't. Hi, Benj. Hi, Bailey. What are all my babies doing? Okay, and then the bakery. We got the cannolis. Oh, everything in me to not unwrap these and eat one right now. I'm not gonna, because I wanna save it for Thanksgiving and bring it. <laughs> and then we, she put it in here upside down? Oh, okay. I was about to be so upset. No, they literally packaged it upside down though. Or they put the sticker on upside down and it's sitting upside down. <gasps> I'm just gonna leave it and hope for the best. We got an eight inch apple pie. Benji, eating the tree. No! Go eat cat food. We're gonna hope this isn't upside down. Okay, eight inch apple pie. I got a pound of cannoli. It's gonna go in the fridge. And for the mac and cheese pasta, it's elbows, which I already have a whole box of it, so I didn't even bother getting that again. Okay, then we went to Odd Job Lot. I never know what that store is called. It, also, is that everywhere or does everybody have that store? I don't know. I've never seen that store anywhere else. Anyways, I got this blanket. I don't know if it's cheesy and corny, but I love polar bears during Christmas time and winter time. And look at this, it's neutral colors. It's like soft, fuzzy blanket, it was $12.99. And it has polar bears on it. Did I just buy it because it has polar bears? I don't know. But you can't go wrong with a fuzzy blanket. Like, literally, who cares? I'll put it in a basket. <laughs> it's cute, okay? Some cookies. We got a potato masher, I treated myself. I got some chocolate for his stocking. We'll go put that in there. And I got this little mini cutting board because I just thought it was adorable. Or if you do like a little like cocktail bar, you could put like sliced um, lemons and limes on here. That would be cute. I got some command hooks because we're falling apart in the living room a little bit because we didn't let them sit long enough to stick. We were impatient. And then for Zane's little sister, Aaliyah, I already got her her big gift for Christmas. You guys will see that on Christmas day. It'll be a surprise. Um, but I just wanna get her like little things, you know, to add with her gift. So she loves painting her nails and doing her nails. So I just got her these Essie nail polishes. I got her a few pretty neutral colors. This one's really cool. It's like metallic. And then these two nude colors. She does like nail art and stuff. She's actually really good at it. So adding those to her collection. They were $3. You know what though? When he rung them up, I thought I saw $1.50. Maybe they were on sale. A dollar eighty for the Essie nail polish. Wow! It literally says three dollars on there. That's amazing. And my little mini cutting board was two dollars. That's like what you would pay at a garage sale. Why do I love this so much? I love it. I don't know. Okay, let's go put this in his stocking before he gets home. The first item is going in the stockings, everybody. Yay. Unless he put something in mine, but it's looking pretty flat. <laughs> Oh, I needed to put product in my hair. I forgot. Alrighty, first thing. Yay! Yeah, mine's um, empty. How about the kitties? What's in here? What the heck? Wait, is there something in here? Hold the phone. Oh, there's flowers in here. You're supposed to go on the tree. By the way, I did order our yearly Christmas ornament. It is just shipped the other day, so it is on its way. It is so adorable. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, and I showed this on Instagram and TikTok. I got this for $3 from Target. Tell me it's not so cute. It's a little truck holding little bottle brush trees, and it says, trees, $10. It's a little ornament. I thought it was so cute. I was doing a Target pickup, and I had to add it. <laughs> 
We don't really have many ornaments like this. I was telling Zane I want to do one for each year that like reminds us of that year. Maybe we'll start next year or maybe we can think of something or see something this year. But we usually only do like our little family ones. And then we just have balls and I have a few little like polar bears. Um, this little reindeer guy. This one about the cats. Polar bear, so cute. But that's really it. The rest of them are pretty boring. So we need to start adding on. Right, Bailey? Hello? Oh, that's a good baby. Love you so much. So yeah, Merry Christmas to me. I also, last night, I'm getting all these emails for Black Friday sales and like, I'm gonna buy some for other people. I gotta treat myself too, right? Like Merry Christmas to me. I went ahead and splurged on the Always Pan and the Always Pot. They were on sale for like the set of them. Um, I really want them for my videos and stuff and they're just pretty and I don't know, I just wanted them because I love cooking. It's like a good investment. So I've heard so many mixed reviews but I put them up on my story and a lot of you were like, oh my god, it's my favorite pan, like you're gonna love them. So I trust you guys. I think they'll be great but they're not gonna come till late November and then like mid-December the other one. So I'll let you guys know what I think of those. If you haven't seen it, um, I'm surprised that you haven't gotten an ad for it because they're everywhere. All right, next up I stopped at my P.O. box. If you guys remember two years ago, I think it was now, a shop on Etsy called Bloom sent me a portrait of the cats. And ever since I've been obsessed with it, I literally framed it and put it near their food. It's also, let me clear my notifications. It is also my background on my phone. Bailey's a little baby in it. So cute. I'm thinking maybe she like updated it or something. I don't know, but I got an email from her saying that she sent something to me to my P.O. box. So I went and checked it today. So this is a surprise to you and me. Maybe just another copy of the one that I already have or an updated version because Bailey was a little baby. Oh, it is an updated one with Bailey's beaker. <laughs> She looks like a little baby in this one. Oh, And it's a different photo of Benji too. Bella looks the same, I think. She doesn't age much. All the difference in my baby. <laughs> Bailey, you got so old. <laughs> oh my God, we have to compare the two. Look at how little Bailey is in this one. Little tiny baby. And now she's a big girl. <laughs> Hold on, she put a card, I have to read it. Oh, that is so nice. Alyssa, last year you made the biggest difference for my Etsy shop and I can't thank you enough. Was it only one year ago? Oh my God. I did think that the original pet portrait needed a bit of an update as Bailey has now grown into a full on cat. I hope you love the changes. If you want to share this with anybody, you totally don't have to. You can give them the code Alyssa30 for 30% off my entire shop. Again, thank you so much for all you have done for me and I hope you have the best Christmas. XO Brittany. I could literally cry, that makes my heart so happy. Guys, if you need a gift for Christmas and you want to do a little pet portrait, code Alyssa30, I'll link her down below. So good. Like, literally it's been my background since she made this. It's their picture on Instagram too. It's their profile picture. So sweet. Thank you so much, Brittany. I love you. Oh my God, I love it. Next up, there's more. I saved these things for you guys because, I don't know, I think it's interesting. This is a PR box for clothing. Guys, it's from Guess. Like Guess, like the store you can go shop at in the mall, like Guess. I'm like, you wanna send me clothes? Thank you. Oh my god. Mama, I made it. <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you guys for supporting me and allowing things like this to happen to me in my life. I'm like, I just pick up a camera and like film what I do and you, wow, whoa. I did pick these items out, so it's not a total surprise, but I'm still excited to open it all up and show you. Let's just start with the main event. I went a little, I'm not a little, a lot of out of my comfort zone, but I was like, you know what? Let's try it. <laughs> I got this long sleeve top. It is like a velvety floral. I don't know, guys. If I style it with like maybe some leather pants and some booties for the holidays, I know it's very not me, but I was like, maybe with the dark hair, like this color would look nice on me. I am getting fresh color right before Christmas too, so I don't know, maybe, we'll see. I think it'll be nice. Next up, I got these pants. 
They're kind of like an athletic pant, I think it said on the website. I'll link everything down below for you guys. I got these in a size small. They actually look like they won't be too long, but they're like a thick material. And they go a little bit wide at the bottom. And along with that, we've got the top. Wow, this material is so nice. It's like nice and thick. It's like a little... What do you call this? Like a cowl neck or something? This is called the Brenda sweatshirt. I got this in a small as well. So that's a cute little set. Ooh. And then lastly, we've got these leggings. I got these in a small as well. They have these cool little stripes on the side. It kind of reminded me of cat whiskers, so <laughs> I liked it. They've got some mesh up here. You can never have too many leggings, especially for how much I go to the gym. I go through them very quickly and I don't want to be doing laundry all that much. So thank you guests. I'm excited. Wow, this is a lot. I have to post this stuff on my Instagram story too so I can show you guys on there. Okay, lastly, you are on the package. So I'm gonna take you off here. This, you guys, is my spice containers. I originally ordered some from Amazon and then decided against them but they were totally fine i just wanted a different style so i will link those down below as well as these because they're a lot more affordable the amazon ones can i help you <laughs> oh my god okay let the organizing begin wow this is beautiful it's a little thing and it has my receipt in it here they are i got three packs of them that came in a pack of 10 so i was like let me get 30 because i got a lot of spices i just don't think 20 would have been enough like i'm definitely between 25 and 30. i actually counted and i think i was somewhere near 30. i'm gonna do the dishes in the sink and then i'm gonna wash these as well so let me just open them i just want to see them and then we'll clean them all let them dry and then we will fill them later Ooh! oh oh uh, my god beautiful aren't they beautiful now i've seen everybody has those um clear ones with the wood top and i think those are gorgeous however i just don't think it's practical because i don't have a large drawer to fit them in they're big and then also i don't like that they don't come with the are these on here yeah like these things because i often like to just shake seasonings on i don't want to always have to use my um hands which i feel like can sometimes be unsanitary and then i also don't want to always use have to use a spoon um so i went with convenience and i do like the way that these look and those are gorgeous i was just like i'm gonna keep them in the cabinet maybe i could find a drawer and place these in a drawer that would be cute actually hmm something to think about anyways regardless i just thought that these were really pretty and i know i'm gonna keep them for a, a long time because they're timeless it's literally just glass and a black matte top and then i have the little cute stickers that will go on the outside of them and these are smaller too did i say that already the other ones were just like huge i don't know i like these i feel like these are even more me rather than the wood the only thing is the leftovers like i'll have to just store them all somewhere else like put them in a little basket in the pantry or something for a backup but yeah yeah these are so pretty Again, the other ones that I got from Amazon, they just had like a metal top and they were actually a little bit smaller, I think. But what I paid for 10 of these, you could get like 20 something of them. So it's a lot more affordable if you're interested in redoing your spices or expert for Christmas. So I will link both options down below. They are actually having a Black Friday sale right now. So if you want to snatch these, I think they're 20% off. I only got 10% off when I bought them, but go check it out. Okay, let's get the ball rolling because I'm also hungry and I want to cook dinner, but I want to get these washed first so they can start drying. You know the whole drill. Let's go.
Alright everyone, please don't mind the dim lighting. Like I said, we're, we're out of lights right now. We're working on it. <laughs> but I just washed the dishes. We have the um, container soaking. I'm going to rinse them out after we're done with dinner so that I can get them drying so that I can do it. Well, like when, when everything's cooking, I'll do it. Um, I put some broccoli in the air fryer. It's frozen. So I'm just letting it defrost a little bit and then we'll oil and um, season it. Excuse me, sir. I was going to make my potato pancakes. Don't worry. I'll just... I'll use this little workstation right here. It's fine. This is my this is my spot. Yeah, look, this is going great for me over here. Shut up. Did <laughs> you gonna throw that? I really thought you were gonna throw it. Come on. It is time to make some dinner. This light is bright. Well, for dinner we're doing a throw it together. We're doing the broccoli, and then Zane is doing mayo chicken. My mom actually used to make this growing up. It was a staple for us. You bake the chicken in the oven. Use the recipe, right? Yeah, it's like? on Hellman's website. Oh, it's on Hellman's Mayo's website. Yeah. And we have Target Mayo. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> um, you like take the chicken breast and you put mayo and parmesan and sour cream or no? No, it's literally just mayo, parm. And you bake it in the oven, but it turns yeah. into this you know, mayo, like... mayo, parm, you mix it together, it creates like a paste, you put that over the chicken and breadcrumbs on top. Oh, it's Good and stuff. then you just bake it at 450 it's, or 425. 425. Very easy and delicious. And then I've had this sitting in the cabinet for a while. Don't worry, it doesn't expire until September of 2022. Potato pancakes, basically like latkes. I used to remember having them in school. I would love them in school. Uh, they were so good. Um, I'm not Jewish, but I would presume you guys eat them on Hanukkah or all the time. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, latkes are delicious. I will eat anything potato-y. So we're gonna make these. It seems very simple. So while Zane's preparing the chicken, we're gonna prepare this. Happy, yay, party. In a bowl, we're gonna do two eggs. Look, we're using up our million eggs. <laughs> oh, shell. These eggs get shells in here. Have you noticed that? No. I, th I think these are the ones that my sister gave us from Costco or something. They like shred. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that one's definitely gonna be shell. All right, two eggs. Whisk those bad boys. Okay, two and a quarter cup of cold water. Going in. Then you put in the contents of the package. It's dehydrated potatoes, potato starch, salt, onion, and palm oil. Mix in the contents of the package. Set a timer for four minutes called latkes. Okay, a four minute timer called latkes. I thought it said laxatives. Now. <laughs> oh, I was trying to read it on laxatives. <laughs> okay, now we let this thicken and then we put it in a frying pan. Let me get the skillet heating up. I'm gonna use the big boy so that I can get them all going at once. How long does that take in the oven? Um, I think 20 minutes. Vegetable oil. Refill. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes. Okay. Ah! That's fine. We'll pour some in here. One eighth of an inch? One eighth of an inch is nothing. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Oh my god, I'm making a f mess. Who let me in the kitchen? Wait, you're killing it, babe. What are you talking about? Thanks. I'm spilling oil. Okay. Oh, I just wanted to put this on here. Okay, I'm closing it. What was the measurement? So it was half a cup of mayo. Okay and a quarter cup of parmesan cheese. Oh, I have fresh parmesan cheese. I think it actually says grated. Yeah, I grated it. Like into a powder? Yeah, well it'd be like small little tiny shreds. Yeah, we could have, but this is easy. Yeah, you're right. And it tastes amazing, so. Oh. I love these days where we just like come up with something from what we got. Yeah, good call on mayo chicken. Yeah, yeah I'm like, more. I don't want to have just regular grilled, grilled chicken. I also was going to think about doing like a panini. Mm -hmm. Like making grilled chicken and then using the sourdough on the George Foreman. Yeah. But then I had a sandwich today, so I was like, I don't want to do that again. Gotcha. That is thickening. Take care of the broccoli. You guys are dying. Let me switch you out. The broccoli already like is starting to brown, which is perfect. We like it nice and crispy. We're doing some olive oil, some salt, some pepper. And then, of course, onion powder. Garlic powder. <laughs> Why do you always do that? <laughs> I forget. It's craziness, but not with my new spice jars, it won't be. Okay, and then a grated parm. And we're gonna air fry that on 400 for as long as I feel like it should be done. 
Freaking love the air fryer, man. Start with five minutes, because it was already browning. Wow, look at this, babe. Let's see it. Looks like applesauce. Ooh, oh my god, it does look like applesauce. So what, you just make it in a pancake form and fry it up? Yeah, you wanna do these while I um get my things drying? What? You, you think don't... I can fry them? Yeah, what? what? You're so That's talented. a lot of responsibility. You are so talented, babe. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, honestly? It's um a tablespoon, so you're gonna use a tablespoon. Oh, wait, no, I'm not doing nothing, baby. I love you, but that's all you. I can do that. What do you want me to do over there? You have to rinse them out and then get them drying. Okay. I'll show you how to do one and then you can do that. Okay, sounds good. You don't have to show me how to do You want me to rinse them out and dry them, huh? Just line them up here. Yeah, you have to do it properly, though. You can't break them. We have to be really careful with those. Yerd. I have, actually I have a few lessons for you. Listen up. Okay, I'm listening. Class is in session. Class is in session. You're so short. Let's go. Ah, these freaking lights. I mean, I wonder if I could buy one that attaches to my camera better. Probably. Because that's for a phone. Okay, lesson one. We have new spice jars now. They're all made of glass. Okay. We're gonna be extra, extra, extra careful not to drop them. Yeah. Slam them against things. Got it. They were expensive. Of course. We don't want them to break. 100%. Number two, I ordered the always pans and the pot. Yeah, you told me that. Look at me. What? You cannot use the metal scraper on them. If you use the metal scraper on them, you better sleep with both eyes open. Both eyes open? Both eyes. I'm not even gonna use them. I heard they're trash. <laughs> okay, sorry, did I get I say that! <laughs> I really, I'm being honest. I'm not even gonna use them. No metal. Of course. I'm honestly not even gonna use them. That's all you. Okay. So don't even worry about it. Yeah, those are gonna be my well, problems. Well, actually, even if you use it, I'll probably still wash them. Okay, so, so yes. what happens if we get like crusty, dusty? They're like, not you know, when you get like to. burnt? They're not supposed to. They're supposed to be non stick coating and you're supposed to be able to just easily do it. Okay. If it gets really probably bad, I would say maybe we boil some water in there, loosen it up. Then why not just have a regular pan? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm documenting this because if you ever use the metal scraper. No, I honestly won't. Okay. Also, I'm thinking about buying containers for the flour and the sugar and stuff that are glass. We won't go there yet. Maybe I'm still debating on it. I might just do the plastic lock and locks. Mm -hmm. But they also say that they're very fragile when you put them on the counter and stuff. So if I do get those, you have to be very careful putting them down and stuff for sugar I'm and flour. I'm confused. Is it like it's glass? Is it? It's not just it's like thin. a cup though. It's thin. People like are even saying these are like being very careful. Is that these like are glass. thick? But I think those containers that I want to buy yeah. on Amazon, they're very thin. Okay. Everything smells amazing. Let's let's get this going. Okay, so for these, go ahead. So just rinse one out. Make sure it's not soapy. Okay, and then the way you lay them on here so that they all fit. Yeah. You're gonna want to put them like on the ridge, so that oh, they. Oh, that's why you did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah they lean up against each other. All right, and then the tops and the shaker lids are gonna go on that one because it's ridged so that they'll dry better. Okay. Sold? Okay, great. I'm gonna make some latkes. We've got 15 minutes. You can do that. I'll make these. Golden, golden. Wow, the smell of the vegetable oil is so like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it reminds me, it's like kind of nostalgic, I guess. Tablespoons of batter, hot vegetable oil, large skillet, and brown on both sides. There's no timing on how to brown it on both sides, so. Oh no, I dropped some batter on the thing. Oh, I dropped more batter. I think this is too hot. I think I put too much oil. Oh my god, it smells amazing. <gasps> With the onion. Oh, it smells so good. You smell it? Yeah, I'm so excited. This is gonna make a lot. Maybe I could bring them to Thanksgiving tomorrow. Maybe. Oh my god, it smells like elementary school. Isn't that it so funny how it smells to bring you back to the oh, pond? Oh my god. Oh! I remember loving them so much and I like never had them after that because nobody in my family makes these. Yeah. Let's see. Are they brown? Ah, I'm doing things over here. I am lining a plate, paper towels. Babe, I'm confused. Why don't I just pop them like this? What? Why don't I just dry them? Because they'll all start to fall. I tried. Oh. Uh, they don't like balance right. Okay. Look at us go. That one is the goal right there. Look at that crispy golden. Doing good. So I'm gonna finish this off. Put them on the plate. Zane's doing the spice thing so that we can um, do that tonight. Chicken is in the oven. Ooh, looking scrumptious. And broccoli is done. Staying warm in the air fryer. Perfect. Food is done. Look how good the chicken looks. Focus on the chicken, not me. Yum. Got the broccoli. Here are the potato pancakes. Each layer is <laughs> every batch that I did, but they look pretty good. So that's exciting. Probably gonna have them with some sour cream. Yum. I'm gonna set up my plate so I can take a picture of it.
Yum. They remind me of like a tater top, but better. <laughs> I love that like oniony flavor that they have. It's gonna be so good with sour cream. I love, if you didn't know this about me, or if you care, I don't know, sauces. Like, I hate eating things without sauce or condiment or something, whatever you wanna call it. I do specifically love sour cream though. I put it on everything. Zane is finishing up something in his office, but he said I can start eating and I'm hungry and I want to try it while it's hot. Let's try this chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Literally so easy. So great for like a big family too. You can just put a bunch of chicken on a, on a uh, pan and just throw it in the oven and it's delicious. It's not like boring grilled chicken. I was a pretty picky eater when I was younger and I loved this. Okay, we're going to go enjoy dinner now. Yeah. Bailey? It's time to do the spices. Make sure we have a clean workspace, okay? Mommy is so excited. What I would do? How am I gonna edit this video by tomorrow? I'll wake up early and do it. I mean, it's nine o'clock to finish the spices and then you, yeah. can, you can start my tonight. Oh, I've been so excited for this. So you know you're getting old and you're excited about new spice containers. Okay, they have all been washed. Um, they're still like a tiny bit damp, but I'm gonna dry them as I go. I have them sitting on a towel. They have like just like the tiniest bit of watermark. So I have right here a paper towel and a straw. I'm gonna like put it in there and dry them if need be. And then these will definitely be dry by the time I am ready for them. So I've got my labels here. If you missed it, these are from Amazon. Sorry, I'm holding this light in my hand. I got a pack of, I think it was 80 of them, I think. Bunch of different seasonings. Some of them I don't have. <laughs> some of my seasonings they don't have on here so i'm gonna start with the ones that i know i have and then go from there and then we'll start going into my spice cabinet i will show you guys the before right now before i forget bella what do you have oh a piece of cardboard that's what you want to play with <laughs> i swear cats find the weirdest things entertaining she loves rubber bands too okay here are the spices nothing exciting they're just in their original packaging so we're gonna make it look all uniform and nice and i am actually debating on moving some drawers around and putting the spices right here and getting one of those drawer things i think it would be so amazing so part two let me know if you guys think I should do that. I think I should. The forks and knives can go somewhere else. They can go somewhere else. We'll have to like, definitely have to move things around, but I think it's it's um, worth it. So we'll see. Anyways, I watched a few videos and I saw somebody measure with washi tape so that all of the labels are even. So I'll put like a piece of washi tape on the top and then put the sticker right below that so that all of them are evened out. Hopefully it works out like that. I am 100% not good at crafty things, DIYs, anything of the sort. That is out of my forte, which is ironic because that's how I started my YouTube channel and then quickly realized, no girl, you're not good at this stuff. <laughs> Mostly because I have no patience. So you definitely need to have patience to do crafts and stuff. I mean, I'm just putting some stickers on some jars, but it's in that realm. Even with cooking, I absolutely love cooking. I think I'm good at it and doing like, tedious stuff with my hands and trying to make things like wontons and stuff like that you need to be really intricate it's hard for me i'm also filming a tiktok for um my spice jars i'm gonna dry this jar let's see if my method with this straw will work wrap the paper towel around it stick it in there and then dry it yeah that works they'll have more time to dry too because i'm gonna do all the labels and then we're gonna put the spices in so they'll definitely be dry but i might as well just do this before I put the label on. Definitely make sure the outside is dry. And we are ready. Let's see if this washi tape idea will work. Actually, let's start with one that I won't care if it's messed up, you know, like dill. Let's do dill. It's very nerve wracking because you only get really one shot, it feels like, with these stickers. Is that too low? Can I just do it by eye? I shouldn't because they're all gonna be messed up then. Not too shabby. Looks good. I think. Let's see with the top on. Cute. I think it looks good. Okay. Let's do this.
Okay. <laughs> I have to set this up for my phone. Now I'll just use this footage for my TikTok, okay? I feel like the washi tape measuring worked. These look pretty similar. Not that you'd really be able to tell if they're super different, but especially if I'm gonna lay them out all in the drawer, you want them to be like pretty cohesive. So we did cinnamon and dill. Here we go. Alrighty, you guys. I have three empty ones left, so I'm going to start filling and then decide. I do have a few seasonings that are not on here, so I'm going to ask Zane's mom, because she uses her Cricut a lot, if she can, like, replicate these for, like, the other seasonings that aren't on them. Otherwise, I'll have to, like, go purchase them somehow. There's a bunch on here that I don't even own, like, I don't know what what is Greek seasoning that sounds interesting to me I want to know what that is I don't have garlic salt because we do garlic powder and then just regular salt I don't know what that is I don't have five spice fennel cumin seeds I have cumin but I don't have the seeds maybe one day we'll get that I'm gonna keep these of course for one day when if I ever get any of this um I do have cream of tartar but I only have three left and I didn't think that that was worth it yet because I don't use that often so I'm like that can go like in the storage I don't know and then I'm still debating if I want to do just regular salt and pepper as well or keep this like all the specialty and just keep the salt and pepper out on the counter I definitely one day will use the pumpkin pie spice I just don't have any right now so I should probably buy that actually but yeah um there was a lot of different salts on this one there's sea salt table salt seasoning salt <laughs> a lot of different salts this is another one I do have celery salt but again I just didn't think that it was worth the um using one up on it anyways we're gonna start filling these I'm gonna just probably dump them in I don't have a funnel but if anything I just use a piece of paper I've done this before when transferring seasonings I just like roll this up and use it as a funnel and it works totally fine but for now I'm just gonna do it on top of this and try to dump and um, if that doesn't work out we'll use this but it's gonna be satisfying are you guys ready we're gonna start filling them we'll start with a few at a time oh let me get my light back on for you guys we're gonna do these so it's gonna go from this and they're all gonna look like this it's gonna be beautiful Oh, I left the seasoning cabinet open. Whatever, that's fine, sorry. Why am I sorry? Oh my God, I am exhausted, you guys. We're doing my favorite, which is garlic powder. Let's see if we can just, wait, are we fully dry in there? Miss ma'am, are you dry? One last dabble in there just to make sure. We don't want no clumpy, wet seasonings. I think this one's good. Can we do it? Oh, I've got this. This is easy. <gasps> Can I fit the rest of this? Come on. Oh my God, I'm so close. Oh yeah. I fit the whole thing. That is satisfying. I was watching videos and stuff too and people were saying that you can actually buy bags of seasoning as well so then you don't like keep wasting the plastic containers. So I'm gonna see if I can find that somewhere. Probably Amazon or something. Garlic powder. This label is so crooked. I did my best on the labels, you guys. The wash tape did work for keeping it the same distance from the top, but sometimes I'd be crooked or a little bit more to the left, but it's not that serious. Like, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, you know? Now we're gonna put on one of these little guys right on top, and then the top. Wow, look at that. Besides the fact that it's really crooked, it's really cute. Honestly, I was looking at my labels on like my ones that like come on the seasoning and some of them are crooked too so like whatever if a factory can't even get it perfect then i don't need to oh my god that looks so pretty though i am excited about this okay we're gonna fill Oh my god, you guys, I stayed up way too late doing this. It is 12.46 p.m. A.m. actually, I should say. <laughs> Definitely a.m. I am so tired. 
but look how beautiful it looks. Definitely worth all of the work. I think it looks so good. I've got two empty ones, and then I swear I thought I had rosemary and lemon pepper, and I don't, but I definitely want those two seasonings, so that's fine that I have them labeled. I will fill those, and I'm still deciding what I want to do with these two. I love the way that these look. I love that they're all cohesive. It looks so cute with all the little powders in there. Look at the bay leaves. I love the bay leaves. Leaves? <laughs> Paprika, it all looks so good. So that's that. Here is the cabinet. I put the extras back there. We didn't really have much. I kind of emptied out all of them. These back here I do have labels for. I just would have to buy more bottles because I would rather put more useful stuff. I don't really use this stuff often at all. I'd rather put stuff that I use more often in those. There's a few seasonings I don't have right now like pumpkin pie spice and random stuff like that. But we have this like random roasted garlic, chili lime, this chopped onion, hot seasoning. So Sometimes we have taco seasoning. I would like to put tahini in one. So I don't know. I'm still deciding on all of that. For now, these are going to go on the top shelf. That will need to be organized, but for now, we just threw them there. I have some bagged spices as well. And I'm going to put all of them in here. But I am thinking I'm going to do the drawer thing. So I'm going to go on Amazon and look within the next few days tomorrow's thanksgiving so i don't know if i have time i'm literally nuts because i stayed up doing this and i'm gonna edit this vlog and post it for you tomorrow but i also have to get ready for thanksgiving and be done cooking by two o'clock so i'm gonna have to wake up very early and it's already 1 a.m so we're gonna throw these in the cabinet and we're calling it a night because i need to go to sleep and there you have it that's all she wrote this is how it's gonna be for now until i get the drawer organizers i'm obsessed with the way that these look i will link everything down below now i'm gonna want to do this with everything i own i have the two extras we'll put those in here and our olive oil i'll come back to this but it's good enough for now i will see you guys in my next vlog we will be cooking for thanksgiving and celebrating with my family so make sure you come back to watch that I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.